and former Kotoko boss Herbert Mensah is urging local businesses to support the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. He is arguing that because people have given so much to their business, it's time for them to give back to the society. Those of you who are in the business community, those of you who are politicians in past governments and present and future to be and whatever it may be, who have benefited from businesses, have put pressure on businesses that support us, whatever it may be, or you represent them in some capacity, I'm appealing you to reach out to them and ask them to contribute now. Yesterday, I went to the Legon Hospital and made a contribution uh, along with um, Sunda, a company that helps me greatly with Ghana Rugby, helps me greatly with May 9th, helps me greatly with all the projects that I've been involved in to help people and to change lives. And I said to them, we need to help Ghana at this time. And they gladly, with their wonderful products of detergents, soaps, and others that are manufactured locally, they understand that they've invested here with all their factories, diapers and pampers, soaps, uh, keda for tiles. And the managing director for Africa, Isaac Hu, understood. Patrick Frank, the uh, domestic uh, managing director, understood. And Laurie Lee from Keda also understood. And then from there, we went to Noguchi and made a very large uh, presentation there as well. The point I'm making is that it's not about me. It's about me putting pressure on people I do business with. And I was saddened when I went to Legon and they said they hadn't had any private donations since COVID-19 became an issue. Because that's where the samples are taken before they go to Noguchi. So I'm reaching out and appealing to all of those who are businessmen in the middle classes who do make money from associates to assist. Stop sitting down and relying or depending on the government to make big decisions. They are making big decisions. We've been fortunate enough that the government has been at the forefront in terms of African countries of making decisions. Now the big decision is where do we go?